So now we're going to get started on a winter green tea. You can serve this one hot or cold as well. You need two quarts of water, so I'm pouring my second quart into the pot. I'm going to put this on the burner to boil. Over high heat, once it gets to boiling, we'll cut it off. These are our winter green leaves. We picked these uh, this past spring and we put them out to dry. We need to cut them into one quarter inch uh, strips. So we'll go ahead and find it a little easier if, these, if you stack them. Sometimes they do fly a little bit all over your cutting boards. So just be aware of that. And once these are cut and the water is boiled and it has been turned off, we'll go ahead and add these to our pot. And you can use fresh or dried wintergreen. So we have our water at a rolling boil, so we're going to go ahead and turn off the heat, Just drop our leaves in, give it a good stir. Make sure all those leaves are good in the water. And we're going to move it off of the hot area and just let it steep for 30 to 45 minutes until it's at our desired strength. We're gonna leave it to steep uncovered so that um, any of the volatile oil that creates uh, an aspirin-like compound can kind of move its way out of the tea and so that the tea is safe to drink for everyone. So we're just gonna let it stay there. So now we've got our winter green steeped and our water that the winter green has been steeping in has turned from clear to a little bit uh, pink Sometimes it's going to turn yellow, and that's fine. So we're just going to go ahead and again and strain our winter green. We're straining it through a strainer that's also known as a chinois. There we go. We just wanted to strain it into something that was bigger than our strainer before pouring it into our container. Now you're ready to serve. There are going to be a couple bits of wintergreen that will float. But as you can see, it's kind of a pink or yellow color right in between that mix. Uh, you can serve it hot or cold. It's really nice if it's sweetened with a little bit of maple syrup.